I am deeply convinced that no matter how badly family sedans sell, this body style will remain relevant, especially so if the performance versions remain as good as the models that we're about to present to you. The 2021 model here brings us an entirely refreshed lineup of sports sedans that are destined to show record-breaking results on the drag strips, tracks, and highways around the globe. As usual, we have already counted all of the horses and will give you estimated or confirmed prices for the newcomers. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and do not ever miss a single upcoming car. Ring the notification bell and enjoy the ride! Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Rodai Since the Challenger Coupe is already manufactured and the SRT Hellcat Rodai version, its platform sibling was destined to receive such a mod as well. Even prior to the 2021 model year, the title of the world's most powerful sedan had already belonged to the Charger. But now, the gap with the closest competitors has been widened once again. The 6.2-liter Hemi V8 is boosted by the larger 2.7-liter IHI supercharger with a red line at 6500 rpm. The extra 90 horsepower now adapt to the record-setting herd of 797, plus the torque reaches 707 pound-feet. To handle such figures, the new charger gets beefier torque converter, axles and drive shaft, and it rides on massive, lightweight carbon black wheels wrapped in Pirelli all-season performance tires. The Radai can cover a quarter mile in 10.6 seconds, while its maximum velocity is bonkers 203 miles per hour. BMW M5 and M5 Competition Being one of the first M cars in BMW's arsenal, the performance version of the 5 Series sedan is currently in its sixth generation, and without a doubt, it is the fastest and the most powerful version of itself. Propelled by a 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8, the sedan has the peak output of 553 pound-feet and 600 horsepower in the base version or 625 in the competition. This translates into 0 to 62 acceleration of 3.1 seconds and maximum speed of 190 mph for the latter model when it is fitted with an optional M drivers package. Starting from 2021, the M5 also boasts a restyled exterior and interior. The car gets a larger kidney grill, revised bumpers, and slimmer LED headlights. While inside, you should notice a new M performance steering wheel as well as a bigger 12.3 inch touchscreen. Additionally, the M5 Competition sports a specific track drive mode and a recalibrated suspension system with new shocks. Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA Inspired by the 1965 model bearing the same acronym, this performance Giulia is being released to honor the 110th anniversary of the company. The car wears new carbon fiber bodywork, gets an aero kit from Sauber Engineering, and rides on 20-inch central lock wheels. These changes make the GTA 220 pounds lighter than even the top Giulia Quadrifoglio model. The standard 2.9-liter biturbo engine undergoes a transformation as well, cranking out 540 horsepower instead of the previous 510. The model gets two modifications, a 4C GTA for daily driving and a race-oriented 2C GTA M that is also road legal. The latter is distinguished by a larger carbon rear wing, a rear roll bar, and sport seats with six-point disabled safety belts. Alfa Romeo plans to build only 500 units of the GTA, and you can further customize them by opting for one of the dedicated heritage racing liveries developed by the brand's Centro Stile division. Acura TLX The stunning Type S from 2019 has definitely left Acura fans craving for more, so the second-generation TLX arrives based on this concept vehicle. Thanks to a stretched wheelbase, a lowered roofline, and a 2.2-inch wider body, the sports sedan becomes more imposing and athletic. Additionally, the car actually has enough power to back up the sporty looks. As standard, it is propelled by a 2-liter turbo engine good for 272 horses and 280 pound-feet, beating the last year's four-cylinder by 66 ponies. The top-of-the-line Type S model 
gets equipped with a newly developed 3 liter V6, estimated to make 355 horsepower and 354 pound feet. Both are linked to a 10 speed automatic gearbox with battle shifters and accurate super handling all wheel drive. To handle the Type S levels of performance, the car sits on a new chassis that incorporates double wishbone front suspension, electro servo brake by wire tech, and variable steering. Lexus IS One of the most anticipated refreshes from the Japanese brand this year is the 4th gen update of the IS Sport sedan. Technically, this Lexus carries over on the previous chassis, but with significant modifications. It becomes more rigid, lighter, and performance-oriented with new coil springs, new A-arms, a stabilizer bar, and swing valve shock absorbers. Visually, the refreshed exterior features a wider three-dimensional grille and larger air intakes, while the ultra-sharp DRLs are now integrated into the main headlights housings. More changes are hidden in the rear, where the totally reshaped taillights are connected across the trunk lid. The engine's portfolio starts with the entry-level 2-liter turbocharged inline-4 with 241 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, and a 3.5-liter V6 that comes in two states of tune. The mid-range model gets a less powerful version, delivering 260 ponies, while the top-of-the-range AS350 comes with 311 horsepower. In case you haven't smashed the like button, now is the perfect time to do so. Thanks a lot! Your support is truly invaluable and keeps us going. Let's get back to awesome sports sedans. Lucid Air Despite pessimistic forecasts, one of the original Tesla killers is nearing the production lines. The latest reports indicate that Lucid is currently testing 40 Air prototypes, while the reveal of the production car is slated to take place in September 2020. The premium sedan is shaping up to become an exact match of the previously seen concept, so expect to welcome yet another worthy EV with 400 miles range, 1000 horsepower dual motor all-wheel drive powertrain, 2.5 seconds 0 to 60 sprint, and 200 miles per hour top speed. The involvement of Tesla's former VP and chief engineer of the Model S, Peter Rawlinson, as Lucid CEO, is reflected in the similar version for the Air. It will be connected inside out, will come factory equipped with a 32 sensor driver assistance package, and will challenge its competitors by offering a new level of the first class interior luxury. Audi RS5 Sportback the current generation RS5 Sportback went on sale just two years ago, so the fact that it is being facelifted right now alongside the entire A5 range did come as a surprise to us. The Sportback acquires a sharper design manifested in the three-dimensional shoulder line, longer hood, extended wheelbase, and short overhangs. The front traditionally gets glossy blackout finish for the honeycomb grille. The way is lit with the RS-specific darkened matrix LED headlights and the vents get new pentagonal geometric cut. The RS5 continues to be powered by the 2.9 liter V6 mil with two turbochargers, good for 450 horses and 443 pound feet of torque. Paired with an 8 speed Tiptronic and a Quattro all wheel drive, it ensures 174 miles per hour top speed, and this car will get you to 60 in 3.9 seconds. The interior is finished in black Napa leather with red or grey RS stitching, and the cockpit now features 10-inch MMI display, head-up display, and virtual dashboard. Skoda Octavia RS IV The performance-tweaked version of the fourth-generation Skoda sedan becomes sportier and gets sleeker exterior accents. But the biggest news, of course, is that the RS IV hits the hybrid segment. The socket juice drivetrain consists of a 1.4 liter TSA engine combined with a 115 horsepower e motor. Their joint efforts translate to 245 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque, while the 13 kWh battery promises an electric only range of around 38 WLTP miles. 
accompanied by the 6-speed DSG transmission, the setup ensures 0-60 to time of 7.3 seconds. To mark the difference between the standard Octavia, the Czech gave the RS model a more aggressive front fascia, a rear diffuser, a subtle lip spoiler, and standard glass black 18-inch alloys with red brake calipers. Its suspension has also been lowered by 15 mm. Besides, the BHV gets standard full LED lights, a bigger 10-inch infotainment, an all-new digital driver's display, and sports seats. Mercedes-AMG E63S The E-Class is a cornerstone of the Mercedes passenger car lineup, so the company never lets a year to go by without tweaking the model at least a little bit. In 2021, the entire E-Class is getting a midlife facelift, while the revised AMG E63S sedan can honestly be called the cherry of the range. The car boasts an extensive exterior revision. There is an updated AMG grill, flatter multi-beam headlights, reshaped front and rear aprons, a restyled rear diffuser, and twin exhaust tailpipes finished in titanium matte. The familiar 4-liter biturbo engine gets no performance enhancements, so the S model is still good for 612 ponies, 186 mph top speed, and 0 to 60 acceleration of 3.4 seconds. Further highlights include a retuned chassis, a more sophisticated interior, and the latest MBUX infotainment. Volkswagen RTN R. Besides embracing the newly found duality and the form of the classic fastback and the all new shooting brake version, the RTN is receiving its hottest modification yet. The signature traits of the Volkswagen R family that make it to this four door are a more aggressive front, enlarged air intakes, blue brake calipers, a front splitter, imposing 20 inch wheels, and surely a lowered suspension. These cosmetic changes, however, are not what allows the RTN to qualify for the performance roster of 2021. The real attraction is the newly developed 2.0 liter turbocharged in lane 4 that cranks out 316 horses and 310 pound feet. Those are channeled through a 7 speed dual clutch transmission, and the car is now equipped with the R Performance torque factoring. Finally, take a look inside and you will find the fully digitalized instrument panel blue accents and our batching. BMW M3 Still wearing camo for now, but the arrival of BMW's iconic sports sedan M3 is imminent during the fall of 2020. The confirmed data suggests that the new M model will be taking advantage of the freshly developed 3.0-liter twin-turbo inline-six cylinder that was first introduced for the X3M and X4M crossovers. The new banger makes 480 horsepower and 479 pound-feet, but you can additionally opt for the competition version that stuffs extra 30 ponies under the hood. The third is channeled to the rear wheels via a 6-speed manual or an 8-speed Steptronic. Moreover, an all-wheel drive BMW M3 Extra version will be joining the party later on. Which one of these four-door beasts deserves to be parked in your garage. Share your preferences in the comment section and mention those models that were missed. Smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory if you enjoyed our content. For now, we suggest you to watch more episodes in our channel by following the links on the screen. As always, may the torque be with you!